from Studio B in the Communication Building at Olivet Nazarene University. It's Tonight at Olivet with Beck Salagi. Tonight's guests include Zach Terrell and Adam Rayburn. Here's your host, Beck Salagi. I'm sorry I'm late. I, I, I had to, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I am sorry, I had to sneak my way in here. There's this, this overzealous fan who won't leave me alone, and I, I knew the show was popular, but man, I just never thought anything would happen like this. <laughs> uh, it's been a crazy day. Seriously, I had to ninja my way into this set, um, and I hope he didn't even see me. So, okay, um, uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, the teleprompter is going. Okay, um, something about a raccoon and a skateboard. Well, um, I just can't keep up right now. I've, I've had the worst day. First off, I, I left my Hydro Flask in Weber, and, and not only that, but when I went back to get it, it was gone, and it was perfect, too. It wasn't like the other one. It, it, was, it was this marigold color, and I left my, my favorite friendship bracelet on there, and, and, and ugh, sk, 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 you know, and ugh. And then I spilled my coffee, and, and I was hoping to drink it. It kept me warm, and then this kid kept following me. Right. <laughs> okay, well, um, we're getting into the holiday spirit, finally, and what better way to signify the beginning of the holiday season than Starbucks's holiday cups. I've got mine right here, as you can tell. Um, to avoid any holiday disputes that they've had in recent years, these cups wish, to marry you, uh, wish you a merry coffee. So don't forget to leave a grande frappuccino and a croissant out for Santa on Coffee Eve. <laughs> Not only that, but the world's largest Starbucks is set to open right here in Chicago on November 15th. Yeah, very cool. This new location is approximately 43,000 square feet. Whoa. So in case you missed it, all the other 184 Starbuckses in Chicago, there's no way you can miss this one. <laughs> yeah. So let's get the show on the road. We've got a great, we've got some great guests for you tonight. Zach Terrell is here. Yeah, super cool. And we'll talk to him about his role on ONU football team and how he overcame his serious injuries. Then from Spoons or Forks, we have Adam Rayburn. Yeah, with a hilarious tale and some great tips on how to keep a smile on your face. You won't want to miss it. We'll be right back. Why do these things keep happening to me? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think it goes back to my childhood. Uh-huh. I just, I, I, I just don't think you'd believe me if I told you. Uh-huh. Guys, we're live. Oh, jeez. Uh, 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 All right, um, welcome to Tonight at All Event. Okay, um, okay. Um, well, glad to see you guys back here. I am being told that we have a video. Okay, yeah. Um, we have footage hot off the presses from earlier today when we ran into this guy, Taryn. Um, is that his name? Uh, I don't know. Um, and I'm glad we've got documented evidence. Take a look. Here we are going to interview a couple of people about the best times that they've had at all event. We're going to have some fun little stories, um, ask about people, maybe their freshman dorming situations, any fun stories that they have. Here we have Evan Mock. Hello. Hi. So do you have any, here, I'll give you the mic. Okay. Um, I, do you have any, we're going to bring you over here. Um, do you have any cool stories about all of that? Like a funny story. Give me a quick two minute narrative. Yeah, so freshman year, we were in Nesbitt, a 
on our fourth floor, and yeah. my RA had yeah, you were a, a kid too. yes. My RA had a frisbee golf tee, oh, so cool. the whole yeah. So we spent our entire second semester throwing discs from one side of the one side of the dorm to the other side, and broke many lights, many exit signs, and almost killed probably exit three people. Signs. Yeah. Um, I think we're gonna have to reshoot that. Um, yeah. Next, we'll have Bryce. Yeah. All right. Now, Bryce, we just interviewed a fellow Nesbitt man. Ah, yes. Yes. Yeah, I, I know. You're gonna have to get a little closer. Um, so, can you tell us a little, like, maybe a fun story, fun time that you had, and all of that? Doesn't have to be from Nesbitt, but mm. I, I know. Freshman dorms are weird. Well, uh, this one time on Nesbitt fourth floor, okay. um, we one of our RAs had a frisbee golf set, and a frolfer. yes, a frolfer. And we would uh, set up the set up the hole at one end of the hallway, and we'd stand at the other end of the hallway. We'd try to like, throw it in. Like, we made a game out of it. Yeah. Uh, we ended up knocking over uh, the exit sign. <laughs> I walked into the girls' bathroom. How did How yeah. did you get out of here? Hey, hey, Mark. Hi, Taryn. How's hey. it going? Hi, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. What's I'm really uh, good. What's, what's going on? How are you? We're actually we have an interview. Right oh, now. really? What's uh? How does that work? What's uh, is that a boom mic? Oh my gosh. Oh. It's soft. Excuse me. It's so uh, cool. If you don't That's get so out nice. of the frame. What's a frame? You gotta go, bro. You oh. Get out. Okay. You sure? Yeah, you're because we're we're in, if you want to be interviewed, it would have to be separate. But we already have a few people lined up. Oh, okay. All right. So, so uh, okay. So you've got to get out of frame so I can finish this interview. The, like leave. The, yes, please. Goodbye, Taryn. We need you to uh, go. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. I I I'll, 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 I'll leave that. Yeah. Right. Okay. Goodbye. Get yourself out. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. Yep. Okay, Good bye. one. God yeah. bless. It's bad times. Like dropping ice cream. Yeah, uh, true it's tragedy. very important. It really, it really hey, is hey, true tragedy. Yeah, sorry, that's good. It's my turn now, I thought, though, right? And did you say I was next to my, my, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, how, hi, hey. Kind of, kind of hey. Yeah, what's your name? Uh, I'm Taryn. Taryn, yeah, Fairchild. Yeah. yeah. Very popular on ONU Secret Admirers, hopefully. This does a little something about that. Um, so, do you have any, um, I don't know, good stories here at all of that. Um, good stories. Specifically at all of that or just yes, in general? Yes, please, at, at all of that. Oh, That's okay. Topic. Um, let me think. You know what, actually, I think we have a really good idea here. Um, so we're going to get some establishing shots first. Okay. That sound Sweet. good? Yeah. So what we're going to have, we're going to yeah. have you way over there so we can have some distance. Okay, so yeah, cool. Make you mysterious. How yeah. far? How far? You're going to see that pillar and then the one that's behind that okay, pillar. Wait, do we start this one though? No, let's go the, to the farthest pillar. The farthest pillar, yeah. Just, just Taryn, trust me. Trust me, I know how to work the camera. Yep. All right, perfect. And go behind it. Go behind the pillar. Behind it, yep. Yep. Stay right there. Stay, Stay right. Go! Go! Move! Move! Move!
This man has been terrorizing our production. And I, I love the students and fans of this show, but this is something else. I mean, I think he's been hanging around the building, so be on your guard, people. All right, let's get back on track. We persevere. Speaking of perseverance, here with a great story about perseverance is Zach Terrell. Zach, you are a student coach on the ONU football team. I am, Yeah, can yes. you tell me a little bit about that? Um, so it's a little interesting just because uh, I am still a student. I'm still yeah. just actively involved in all the student stuff, but mm -hmm. I am still. So I coach the outside linebackers, which is a lot guys. of fun. A lot of fun. The big guys, yeah. The big guys that move fast. So. Yeah. I mean, I um, told you before, I've seen the blind side. So. Yeah. I mean, you she's, can. She's well she's You well can. Equipped. I know, it, I well know the insides <laughs> of, like, the game. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So let, let's backtrack a little bit. Um, you've been through quite a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. um, we heard that you were in an accident a few years back. Can you tell yeah. us about that? Yeah. So uh, my junior year, I was in a car accident. I lost control on some ice, started yeah. spinning around, uh, wrapped my car around a tree. Uh, it was a really nice uh, Ford 40th, 40th anniversary Mustang, uh, gunmetal gray, really nice looking car. Uh, actually. Um, when I got in the accident, and this is really stupid, but I gave the person who stopped my mom's number, so she freaked out. But um, at any rate, when my parents got there, my dad came up and I was crying. He was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, my car. <laughs> and it was like, I think there's some other things going on, which my legs were trapped at the time, but by the time I was able to, it took him about 45 minutes to actually get me out of the car. And then at that point I realized that uh, I actually broke my leg. I broke my tibia uh, in my left leg. So I actually have a rod that runs from my knee down to my ankle now. A bionic but, man. Um, yes, bionic man, um, <laughs> little uh, Iron Man or uh, Robocop, rather. Yeah, so. wow. That's um, you in the hospital. Yes, so I spent that's, some time, spent some time in the hospital. Yeah, that's the rod uh, right there. So it was a good long, I mean, they just took a drill right down in there and hammered that thing in there. Yeah, yeah, so it was really good stuff. I was unconscious for it. <laughs> Not so a bio major. I was, in, I was in the hospital for about three days. So oh, it was, only it was three good. days? Only three days, that's yeah. That's amazing. But I mean, Modern after that, science. I mean, I was spent about two months on a couch, which was awful. So, I mean, that oh, was terrible. Oh, jeez. That was terrible. Yeah. But, you know, crutches, wheelchair, whole ordeal. So it, yeah. was, it was a lot of fun. But how, it was, was, how was that recovery period? It was tough. It was yeah. really hard. Um, there was a lot. Um, <laughs> I mean, just little things, showering, walking. Um, I remember at one point, I distinctly remember, I, like I said, I was living downstairs um, off the couch. I was brushing my teeth in the, bed, in the bathroom, and I fell and, like, just like, I mean, went to catch myself and put weight on my leg and just remember just being in excruciating pain and then being mad at myself because I fell while I was brushing my teeth, which is something that you shouldn't fall yeah. while you're doing. So, yeah. <laughs> but um, no, just little things like that and a lot of things that you take for granted that you realize, I mean, it was like complete reset in my leg, uh, yeah. a lot of trauma surgery and uh, cutting and stuff like that. So it was a complete reset and... Um, just a lot of little things that I, you never really think about that you have to do. Okay, so. Um, so with that, like that's the whole thing. How did you get back into football? Yeah, so. Um, How did you get here? Yeah, so that's a great question. Uh, they actually, so uh, I was supposed to be fine to play football and mm -hmm. I was not able to walk. So like, this is not right. And I had to sit out of my senior year of football, unfortunately, mm -hmm. but um, I, I had a great physical therapist, a great family, great people around me. and. Uh, I actually swam through high school and that, mm -hmm. that actually played a big role and fortunately I was, I don't know why, but I uh, kept expressing interest in all of that and mm -hmm. was recruited earlier on and uh, just kept at it and for some reason they signed me. So it they was, signed yeah, you. I was very blessed, very yeah. blessed, yeah, very blessed. Awesome. So there it is, there's my parents and so Coach cool. Heyman. So just uh, very fortunate that they, uh, you know, took the chance to, I mean, I don't know, some kid with a broken leg, so I don't know <laughs> why you'd <laughs> well, hey, sign somebody We're like glad that, you're here. Yeah, 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 I am too. That's am an amazing too. story. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much, Zach. Um, now the football team is hard at work this season. Their next home game will be on November 16th. Zach, thank you so much again for being thank on you. the show yeah, and sharing absolutely. your story. It's been absolutely. a joy and a pleasure. Um, if you can persevere, I can persevere. <laughs> so right. I'll get through today. Um, anyways, we will ha come back with Adam Rayburn, and yep, yeah. yep, he'll be here, and he'll tell us side-splitting stories and share some great tips about how to make people laugh. So, prep your funny bones, not you. Here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and when we come back, we'll play a game of All of Et, short after the break. Don't go anywhere. Uh -huh. Welcome back 
to the show. We're getting right back on track here to share some tips and to help us with a hilarious story about Mac and Nugs, Adam Rayburn. <laughs> Right, so now Adam, I know everybody wants to hear your story about Mac and Nugs. It's a good story. Okay, but first we're gonna play a little game Ooh. to test your all of it campus knowledge. The game I call All of Et. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. We'll talk about the rules. Now we're going to show you a few Finally! little I found it! No. I'm on the set of no. Tonight at All of It. Hey, look, Ma, I made it. Oh, no. No. My grandma loves this show. Hey, Grandma. I'm on TV. This is awesome. Yeah, um, excuse me, Taryn. Um, yeah. Taryn's your name, right? Yeah, um, yeah, Okay, yeah, yeah. well, so we're, we're actually, we're filming something right now. We're about to play a game, Adam and I. Oh, I love yeah. games. Um, I'm sure you do, games, but yeah. we're, oh, we can talk oh, hey, yeah. after commercial oh, break. Yeah. I can sign something. Um. Okay. Um, no, it's it's we'll we'll both I have, play I have back. I an idea. How about how about we both play? Yeah. And whoever wins gets to stay, and whoever loses has to shamefully walk away. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. So um, can we do that? Can we? That'll work. Okay. We'll do it. Um. So. Here are the rules. Um, we're going to show you a few close-up pictures from around campus for you to identify. And then the first one to squeak his dog toy will tell us and tell us what the picture is, um, where it's taken, whatever, gets a point. Person with the most points wins and stays on the show, whereas the other one has to shamefully walk away. Ooh. Stakes are high because this is filmed. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's start with the first picture. Uh, that's the, the clarinet thing in the, um, the lobby of Larson. That, that's correct. It's the clarinet thing. Yeah, the, Adam, yeah. Oh, it's sorry, too late. <laughs> All right, second picture. Thank you. Yeah, Adam. It's the, it's the, the comm building. The, yes. The comm, yes. Yeah, you're yes. right. Okay. You think right. I know that name? Uh, second, a uh, third, third picture. <laughs> That's my locker. There's no and, way. And, and Larson, right? The, the, yeah. The yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, fourth picture. That's the that's the planetarium thingy with the stars and stuff. Yes. It's literally an all of it. Logo. Three point terror. <laughs> Okay. All right, um, five, picture five. Oh, thank you. Yep, what's up? That's the own you vape by the clock own tower. You vape. Yeah, yep. the, okay. yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I know what I'm talking about. Um, now, Taryn, let's, let's, let's slow your roll. You might want to just think about these answers Ooh, next. Yeah, maybe. you didn't know about the own you vape, yeah? Okay, um, next one. Is that a, a thingy from the aquarium? Of what? I don't know. What, I don't know where that is. Well, well yeah, Adam. Uh, aqu aquarium at a zoo. <laughs> Everything is on <laughs> campus. Uh, with the zoo. So I'm none of us are biomatrix here. <laughs> <laughs> no one gets this one. It's in the basement of Reed. Uh -huh. OK. Um, so next science. one. What's the scores here? I think you've got Pretty sure I'm winning. four. Maybe, Adam, you've got. I get, Five. Two. <laughs> Taryn, what are you squeaking at? Did no, that was like the uh, emergency exit sign at the... Uh... No, you, Taryn, you win. Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. That is the emergency exit sign. Three parking lot. Okay, so I am now obligated to uh, the game. have Taryn on the game, box. sir. You'll have to tell me about that Mac and Nugs thing yeah, sometime. No, no. We can, I, no, we can, can work be, something out next time. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. No, yeah, no Adam, it's fine. I, no, it's fine, Beck. We're friends, Beck. though. No, this isn't. No. Yeah, I'm working. No, this with... is personal. This is personal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm keeping this. We can. No, you no, can I'm, have it. I'm taking. It's... It's, you deserve it. Oh, you, can... you just got sweet. You know what? 
If I got squeaked on, it's not my fault. Is it, Taryn? I, anyway. Well, I, I don't know. So um, now that I am ob obligated to have Taryn. Fairchild. Well, Fairchild, Fairchild, that's your name. Um, Taryn Fairchild on tonight at All of That as a guest. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, Taryn, um, what, what year are you? I'm a freshman. Yeah, freshman. Okay, and what's your major? Uh, marketing. Marketing. I'm marketing. Yeah. Freshman marketing major. Yeah, so why, why did you choose marketing? Um, you know, I figure I would love to um, have a career either leading worship or just having something musical in mind mm -hmm. in general. And if it doesn't work out the way that I hope it will, then okay. I will still have like a business degree, ideally. That's kind of, okay. the, that's kind of the thought process. Then, that's logical. Okay. Yeah. Um, so are you involved in anything on campus? <laughs> do you attend any special events? <laughs> do I do anything? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm in, uh, so I'm in both the ministry teams and uh, music ambassadors. So I'm gone just about every weekend uh, leading worship at a new place, um, oh, traveling. That's, that's pretty interesting. Uh, uh, and uh, I was also in Broadway Review, um, and that was super fun. So yeah, which led to your eventual success on ONU success. Secret Admirers. I don't know if you could call that success. Yeah. And I would love to, can we talk about that Yeah, I would second? like to talk about that. Um, why, why does ONU Secret Admirers exist? You know, oddly enough, amen. Like, I agree. And it's kind of strange. Because, I mean, th this type of thing is for, like, 6th and 7th graders. And the people posting are, like, 20 years old. <laughs> no. I mean, well, that's the thing. Like, you, you, I feel like for Valentine's Day, you, like, yeah. Put a little, like, a special Valentine right. in their little mailbox that they made for, like, the Valentine's fifth grade. Was that right. the only one who did that? No? You made yeah, the little Valentine's Day. in fifth box. grade, though. In fifth We're grade. We're in college. Yeah, and this is true. We are adults who yeah. vote. Um, <laughs> so... Yeah, no, yeah. I, I'm glad that we're on, on yeah. enough the same page there. Yeah. Um, okay, are we, are so we close to oh well, friends? you're not there yet. Okay. Um, okay. So, so what's your favorite event here so far? My favorite event was probably the uh, the silent disco thing. Yeah. Where we were just raving. To, that was really fun. To absolutely zero music, seemingly if you didn't have the headphones yeah. on, it was just like to nothing. It was awesome. That's, it's such a <laughs> cool concept of like the togetherness, but like the individuality yeah. the, of it all as yeah. well. That was really philosophical. I uh, take a lot of philosophy classes, I like. Do you yeah, really? yeah, I like do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, epistemology. Dr. Chad, if you under, ever end up watching one of these episodes. Um, so yeah, I ask him like every class if he's seen it. Huh. Yeah. Um, but anyways, so that, that so far has been your favorite. Um, yeah. So what Going past the positive, what has possibly been the most challenging experience Ooh. you've had in your freshman year? Uh, getting onto this set, probably. I had to, <laughs> I had to like weave and duck through about nine security guards, and it yeah, was. Yeah, it's it's interesting how it hard we made it to keep yeah. you out. I got here though. I made it though, right? Yeah. I'm almost almost impressed. Yeah. I, Thank you know, you, you know you. that yeah. actually, you know, Taryn, that the. I am impressed that you made it in here, and this wasn't a terrible conversation. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> so, Taryn, I, I'm I'm kind of glad that we turned this craziness around. Um, what craziness? <laughs> well, you know, it, it has been a hard day for me. Um, also, do you want to talk about it? Or? Oh no, that's okay. Okay. Um, but I I feel better now. Right after this, Good. this little well, yeah, whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah. Can you need me to go beat up whoever made it a bad day? <laughs> that would be funny. I love the movie Fight Club. Um, all right. Well, anyway, anyways, um, everyone, that's our show tonight. Um, thank you to our guests, Zach and Taryn and Adam. <laughs> sorry, buddy. We'll have oh, you on next time. I'm not that sorry. Oh, um, well. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching everyone and good night from tonight at All of That.